There it is, right there. Where? Maybe there? Where? Seven thirty-eight. Good morning, guys. What is going on? Welcome back. We are in Ali's Jeep with Macho Man Andy Savage. Today's the big day. Today is hopefully, uh, well, it's brand new, so we're hoping that it's not a repeat of last time. Uh, but today's the big day. Andy is going to get his new truck. So, uh, what what would what would be getting a vehicle without? A little road trip so uh, we've been actually been driving since uh, well Andy's been driving since five o'clock uh, it is now almost eight uh, we're actually going up to New York because this is a pretty pretty cheap truck it's a, it's a new truck but it's a cheap truck and Andy again had very his criteria did change you already waved they already you already said you already said hello um, in front of the guy. Andy's criteria changed a little bit uh, as far as what he was looking for. Um, switched up the cab configuration a little bit, things here and there. So we'll kind of go over all of that uh, when we get there and you guys check it out. Uh, but that's where we're at. That's where we're headed. Uh, it's four hours away. So even, what time are we supposed to get up there? Nine. Nine. Hour ten. 20. So we should be back around like 2, 2.30 uh, later this afternoon. It's supposed to be a really nice day. But that's the trip for today. So new new vehicles, new vehicle Saturday. It's a good day. Tired, buddy? Uh, All right, guys. I will. We'll catch up. I'm not gonna really draw this out. We're just gonna we're gonna head to the dealership. Once we get there, uh, I'll show you guys the the truck and we can check it out together. And we'll show you guys uh, all of the spe specifications that Andy really wanted. And then we'll go into look at this big trucks everywhere. Uh, we'll go into the plans for the truck. So stay tuned. There it is, right there. Where? Maybe there. Where? I'd say that's probably it. Huh. Well, you wanna go in and get your get your man? Get your mans? Or you wanna check? What do you wanna do? I don't know. Alrighty. Oh, look at that. I got crisp, crisp door shut. Oh yeah. I was like, how, how you feeling, Andy? Good. How you feeling, Andy? Oh, ho, ho, baby. Nice. You already know. All right, so this may not be the cheapest in the world, but this is like one of the cheapest brand new trucks. 17 miles on her that we can, that, that, that Andy found. Man, that clutch is light. It's ready for you to rip. All right, guys, so what we have here is a 2018 17 miles on her. Uh, it is a single cab 3500 G56. Did go with black. It is PXR, but it is just a little less optioned down. And uh, I don't know why it seemed like in 2018 you could not order the sport appearance package with a stick. In 17, you were able to, um, and, and that's pretty much what you were finding, right? Yes. Like in 18, if you wanted a stick, you could get close, but you could not get the sport appearance package. So Andy decided to try and drop the price down a little bit. Now we did, this was pretty much low, I'm going to say like low fours, let's just put it that way. So uh, it is a pretty cheap-ish brand new truck, and that's kind of what Andy wanted to try and do, right? Like I'm, I mean, I'm talking for you, but... What do you want? Oh, I mean, well, like, I, like, I why did you decide? I mean, we were looking at trucks that were. I've been looking at all over. I first, I wanted. I first, I wanted a single cab because it would fit better in my condo complex than a four door, a long bed, like anything like that. This is the shortest configuration. I wanted to get it. I wanted a six seven G fifty six. There were some things that I wanted. I wanted a manual T case because I had problems with my last T case with the electronics. I wanted a stick. I like the fact that it doesn't have a slider. I think it looks cleaner. Um, you know, I like. I mean, you were all over with the price too. Then, you yeah, wanted, then, you yeah. did want to spend a lot of money, then you didn't want to spend a lot of money. And he's got a lot of future uh, plans that he wants to try and accomplish with with his with his young life here. Uh, so we just kind of he just he basically landed on this because it kind of fit uh, a lot of different things uh, price wise. Still a brand new truck, still a clean base to start with. Um, some of the uh, base like the no fog light bumpers. We're, you guys know we're gonna build this thing. So I mean, uh, we're gonna be changing a lot of some 
some of the base stuff like you know maybe eventually these seats we can get uh, you know uh, kind of swap everything over it does have vinyl floor so it's a little bit more of like a like a work truck spec but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make it nice uh, and it's still a brand new truck so I think that kind of pretty much covers it right <laughs> yeah you got the exhaust brake on there Bob Bob now she's on turn the jakes on Oh man, those are loud. Those are loud. All right, so that's the general gist of it. Those are the specs. Of, so it is a 3500. It is a leaf spring rear truck. Yeah, you can show them the bed. And that's, that's true, too. Oh, and Andy. I wanted the bed liner. Andy the bed really, line. I don't know. He really wanted the gooseneck package with the uh, bed liner and the bed lighting. So uh, as you can see back there, the bed lighting right there has the switch on an 18, has the gooseneck stuff already set up in it, and already bed lined. So other than that, uh, it's cab light. It does this truck does have cab lights? It is a G56, and it was pretty cheap. So, well, cheap for a new truck. I'm sorry, I know I'm blabbing, but anyway, uh, yeah. Hopefully, test drive is obviously going well for a brand new truck, and uh, we'll head back, sign the papers, and get home and kind of tow mirrors up. <laughs> oh, psych! Andy wants to test fit wheels. Oh, so we're doing that today. Andy's got some plans, so we might be doing some more. We might be doing the first mods as soon as we Pearl get or home. Black. What do they think? Oh, on the I'm wheels? I'm almost leaning towards polished and paint master and polished, but I don't know. Maybe that's my big rig in me now. Oh, <laughs> Andy, Andy, big rig. But I like Where's your that. cowboy hat? You going to get a cowboy hat? No. Okay. I'm scared of that. Mark, Mark wants him to get a cowboy hat. I'm scared of that. But, I mean, Andy's, Andy's a simple man at heart, so, I mean, he doesn't need anything super fancy. I drive by myself all the time. I don't need more than Oh, look at that. Outside temp right there. Yeah, let's get the Bluetooth. Let's get the connectivity. No phone connected. That means it's got Bluetooth. All right, we gotta whip this thing around. This is nice, dude, I'll tell you what. All righty, let's check this baby out. I thought you wanted the Hemi option. Ha <laughs> ha! Let me delete shit. This don't look like no Hemi. All righty, here she is. Andy's already like, all right, fog light bumper, paint matched headlights, no badges, wheels, paint matched. <laughs> yeah. Laramie flares on it. Oh, you want the Laramie flares? I'll put them on there. Just a just a clean base to start with. Is that stink? Is that burning natural? It smells. Yeah, it's probably the exhaust. All right, big Andy, taking it home. Taking her home. Taking it home. Big Andy back in the truck game, boys. With the one tens. Big Andy got the one tens up. <laughs> this guy's apparently gonna. Oh, oh, before we. We're gonna, we're gonna crash it before we get it back in the lot. Big Andy, how's she riding? Dude, ride smooth, man. Smooth ride. I didn't realize the uh, the new 3500s came with like the same. This is the same leaf pack configuration as my dually, uh, but. It's all oh, you're very up. you're very scared about that one, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Andy doesn't want to have to fill it up. All right, back on the road. We just stopped for lunch. All right, keep her rolling. Hey, try try and speed up, would you? Driving like a grandpa. What's this thing? Is this the fifth wheel? Oh, you got a three inch receiver in the back. That's the sleeve if you want to uh, go to normal two inch or two and a half. I don't know what it has on there, but it's got a big. Uh, it's oh, got this big... one's bigger? Come on. Dude, you're big dogging with a 3500 now. Come on. What, kind of, what, do you, what would you pull with a bigger thing? A three inch hitch. They make three inch hitches. I believe it's three inch. Don't lose that. Checking out this. Look at all that room to stuff stuff.
They're probably just dry rotted. Big Andy left the Buick for Allie. <laughs> Allie went to go for a walk and uh, he left her with a dud. I wonder if that just came loose. It's just, it's probably dry rotted, buddy. Well, don't, yeah, I mean, we can air it up so we can to take it to the shop and put a new valve stem in it. Can you guys hear that? We're dry. We're trying to drive over to the shop and the t we just filled the tire up, but it's leaking really bad. Oh man, it's getting louder. It's getting louder. Oh man. Can you guys hear that? It's really loud. Oh boy, let's hopefully we can get to the shop here. Guys, ch guys, check it out. We're pulling into the shop. We just made it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> she she had about like another minute left in her tops. Completely flat. Oh boy. All right, well, I guess we're going to fix a valve stem for the rest of the video and then working on Andy's truck. Doing a couple little minor things here on the first day. Fresh valve stem repair. We're good to go. On to the exciting things. Onto the truck stuff. All right, you guys know that we had to try and put one of the 05's wheels on this thing because uh, it's summertime. Andy wants to try. Well, it's not summertime yet, but it's getting close. It's it's getting close. It's 75 today, so uh, Andy's trying to decide on wheels and tires. I don't know. Drop some comments below. Leave some comments below if you guys want black, chrome. What you guys want to see done to this thing? What what, what are your plans, Andy? Uh, Andy doesn't really goes. know. I just wanted something nice, drive, and uh, some parts will fall off and just leave it as stock as can be. I mean, he's gonna, he, he wants to swap out the front bumper for fog lights. We're gonna paint match everything as always. Uh, yeah, if anybody's got a, a, a paintable a black, I don't even know if they had black ones with fog lights. I don't I'm not know sure. Chrome ones. I'm not sure. Well, I need a fog light bumper. I want one of them Ram grills. He's, he's going for the ram grill. He's going for the ram grill that I just got rid of a couple months ago. Yep, and that's it. So we're going to head home. Handles. Yeah, we're going to head home. We're going to wash this beast up and uh, do a couple little first first day mods here. But we had to throw a wheel and tire on before. Oh, show him the first day mod? Are you going to do it right now? Are you going to do it back at the house? So back in the day, Andy, before his Mega Cab, actually had another white fourth gen. Sneak preview. Weighted shift knobs. I don't even know where they're from. I don't either, but they're was dope. it like was it like ultra diesel or something like I that? I don't like the hearse. I just like how like the hearse ones like these I just are like weighted. How these that are, one's got the pattern engraved on it. These are these are got to be like a two like like that's a two pound. Slam, that's for slam jamming, baby. Oh baby. Whoa. You sure that's not gonna mess up your uh, G56? I got one. Uh, I'm not scared. I won't. Slam you're, it. you're not scared. I won't slam it. He's got one for the TKs too, and these came off of his. He saved these from his original old fourth gen that he had. Wow. So we're going to pop this wheel and tire back on the 05, head back to my house, hang out the rest of the day, show you guys what we're doing. <laughs> he just wanted to throw this wheel on. So I don't know. He's thinking about maybe possibly going up to like a, maybe like a three inch lift on this thing, or maybe just for now, keeping it simple because we got some other money that we want to spend, but figured to show you guys with the black, black on look. Black on black look. I gotta buy a quad if anybody's selling the TRX 450. Oh, you're buying a quad now too? I got a little, you think I bought the bed for? I didn't buy the truck, I bought the bed. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, back to the house we go. I'm thinking. All righty, guys. Gonna get this thing cleaned up real quick. We'll catch back up with you. Big Andy's gonna get all up in that thing. He's obviously a little, a little excited here. Front license, front license plate mount, who needs it? All right, guys, three simple mods for today. No sidesteps, no badges, and Andy's got his weighted shift knobs. Dude, those things look so damn. Just, just class, just, just, just class.
Look at these things. Andy's very excited. It's just a nice man. I don't I don't know if you can get any better than a just a fresh, clean base truck. I'm excited to show you guys kind of like this thing looks like a base pop pop like truck right now and it is going to go through the full the full swing of getting everything we're going to get nicer bumpers and just make this thing look so good i'm, I'm really excited half of me half of me is probably excited because it's black but uh it's just a, it's just a nice clean nice clean base project what do you say andy clean your jams boys <laughs> clean your jams yep well I was gonna say, I hear baby. I hear babies. I love babies. Reagan. Hi. Alrighty guys, but that is pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Andy, what do you say? Thanks for tuning in. You excited? Yes. You're excited. Let us know what you guys want to see on this thing. What kind of parts you want to see us use? Uh, maybe yeah, something. Let us, know. let us know. Maybe something just a little bit different from maybe what you guys have seen on my dually, uh, because it pretty much is the same exact base. But we're gonna try and make this thing. We're gonna make this thing really, really nice. Andy, you want to race it? No. <laughs> like your last G56. <laughs> the last the last uh, truck that Andy had uh, was his white fourth gen and we took it to the track once when back when Nick was doing stick shift uh, racing and Andy took his white fourth gen to the track once we had to get a whole new G56 it blew yeah so it wasn't a good deal so I will do with this truck pick up John Doc's girlfriend <laughs> oh damn Oh, the kid is back with the John Doc jokes. Be ready, John. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Leave some comments down below. Hit the like button before you leave. Uh, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next one very, very soon. We, you're going to see this truck a lot on the channel. Andy. All right, so we, we expect at least uh, one update mod video a week, right? Sure. Sure. All right, look at that sexy beast. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. See ya.